Hey, what's up everybody? This is going to be the most authentic, actual way to make money with Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. Not a scam, all you gotta do is transfer all your Bitcoin to this address. Now I'm just playing guys. Legit though, be careful because there are a ton of scams out there when it comes to Bitcoin. So I'm going to try to explain to you how people actually make money with Bitcoin. You hear so many stories how people go from poor to being a millionaire or a billionaire thanks to Bitcoin. Is this realistic? Is this something we can reproduce? And if so, how? To answer the question, the, the too long didn't read version is, it is possible to make money with Bitcoin. However, the quick riches is usually not going to be the case. Rather, there are some key things you can do to build wealth over time, but you're probably not going to be an overnight millionaire. So this is designed to be a bird's eye overview of all of the different techniques to make money with Bitcoin. I'm gonna go into them in a little bit of detail, but I'm not going to exhaust all of the things you need to know. So if any of these interest you, do the extra research on how to do them and just go for it. Start today. I will leave links to tools in the description for you to get started with Bitcoin, whether that's just buying and holding cryptocurrency or trading cryptocurrency, I will leave my referral links in the description. So the very first thing you need to understand when it comes to making money with Bitcoin is that Bitcoin is a currency. It's similar in nature to how a fiat currency such as the United States dollar works because you can use it to buy things and sell things. But Bitcoin itself is not an income producing asset the same way a stock might be an income producing asset. If you own stocks in a company, they can pay dividends and that will be money you can put in your bank account or reinvest. Bitcoin does not work this way. There are some cryptocurrencies that work more this way and we're going to get into that, but Bitcoin is just a currency like any other currency. But it's also radically different than all the other currencies, so there are some things you need to know about it. A lot of people jump on the Bitcoin train because they believe that in the future, Bitcoin is going to be worth more. And that is how they expect to make their gains. That is where all of the multi-millionaire Bitcoin investors come from. They bought Bitcoin or earned Bitcoin when it was really, really cheap. And now the price is very, very high compared to what it once was. However, the problem with this is there is no guarantee that the price of Bitcoin is going to go up. I'm not trying to be a pessimist here, but we want to avoid speculating. We don't just want to say, oh, Bitcoin's gonna be worth $100,000 next year because we have no idea whether that's the case or not. I've said this a thousand times before, but even the Bitcoin website and the Bitcoin source code says that this is an experimental project. It has stood the test of time to some extent, but it has not been around for decades like gold has been around for decades or even the United States dollar has been around. So we don't know the future of Bitcoin. If we did know the future of Bitcoin, well then we could obviously know whether we should buy Bitcoin or not. So that is your first warning. The way people want to make money with Bitcoin is buying it and then selling it for a crap ton more in the future. And this is a great way to make money assuming the price of Bitcoin does go up, which is not guaranteed. To put this in perspective, at one point, Bitcoin was priced at $20,000, and shortly after that, it crashed down below $10,000, and it has not yet returned to that $20,000 mark. So the people who bought it at $20,000, they might have been like, dang, I'm gonna make so much money, this is gonna go up to $200,000, and then it crashed down to $10,000, and they lost a lot of money. They can hold out and wait for the price to go back up, but if you're just doing the math, they didn't make any money at all. At least not yet. <laughs> so I'm not trying to scare you and say, oh, don't buy Bitcoin. In fact, I think you should buy Bitcoin. I buy Bitcoin, but you shouldn't buy it expecting to get rich off of buying Bitcoin. There is no guarantee of the future. However, you can do certain things when it comes to buying Bitcoin that is going to reduce the risk and help you maintain a more safe portfolio. So one example of what you can do is invest in cryptocurrency by Bitcoin on a regular basis. So instead of taking your life savings and spending it all on Bitcoin, why don't you start buying Bitcoin every single week? This concept is known as dollar cost averaging. 
And basically the way it works is if you say, for example, buy $50 of Bitcoin every single week, if the price is low, you're going to buy more Bitcoin because that $50 is going to get you more. If the price of Bitcoin is high, you're going to buy less Bitcoin because that $50 is not going to get you very much. This is a way to neutralize the risk so you don't invest all of your money when it's 20,000 and then it tanks down to 10,000. So most of the popular exchanges can do this feature. For example, in Coinbase, you can make recurring investments. Binance, you can make recurring investments. Basically, just choose a number and start investing that on a regular basis. This will one, reduce risk, and also two, get you more cryptocurrency, start building up a portfolio. So that's the first way to make money with Bitcoin, just buying and holding, hoping that the price goes up over time. The next way to make money with Bitcoin is Bitcoin trading. And the tool I would recommend for this is Binance, also link in the description. But basically with this, if you study a lot into the market, you can buy and sell Bitcoin very rapidly, you know, making trades within the same day and make a profit from these trades. This is very hard to do and a lot of people lose money doing this as well. So I, I feel like I'm super pessimistic in this video, but don't go into that expecting to be an overnight millionaire. It takes a lot of time, patience, and also it can take a lot of capital, a lot of money up front, so you can do large enough trades. The next way to make money with Bitcoin is Bitcoin mining. So you sacrifice your machine computing power to contribute to the Bitcoin network. You can do this with a pool of other people and if you guys are the one to mine the next block, then you will be rewarded a percentage of that based on how much you contributed. This may or may not be a profitable technique. However, I do think it is a viable option to explore. Some benefits here are if you're in a cold environment, so any heat that your computers are generating, it's not as bad. And also if you're in a location where the electricity is cheap, then you're going to get the most profit. Also, if you're fairly confident that the price of Bitcoin is going to go up, you can hold that Bitcoin and sell it at when it's a higher price. Now, another way you can make money with Bitcoin is to earn more Bitcoin by referring people to certain platforms. So a lot of the investment apps out there give some kind of referral or affiliate program. So for example, if you spend $100 with my Coinbase link, you will get 10 extra dollars of Bitcoin. It's a great way to get a little bit of Bitcoin. I also get that $10 of Bitcoin. So when I create these videos and I'm sharing this information, I get a little bit of passive income in the form of Bitcoin just through my referral links. All right, so now I got a really risky way of making money with Bitcoin, and that is with an initial coin offering, an ICO. This is basically when a new cryptocurrency is launching, you can invest in that project using either United States dollars or Bitcoin or maybe some other cryptocurrencies that they accept. Now, if this project is successful, you might make a lot of money in the process. However, ICOs are kind of sketch, like you don't really know if they're legit and it's really easy to get scammed. So really do your research and probably don't invest your entire life savings in an ICO. This is a realm that I have not really explored because I just think the risk is too high. I would prefer lower returns, but guaranteed returns. In a way you can have guaranteed returns is with something called staking. So this is probably one of the coolest discoveries for me. Basically, you can own a certain cryptocurrency, not Bitcoin in this situation, but other cryptocurrencies, and that balance is going to increase over time. Sort of how you get a return on investment with stocks or like interest in a bank account, well, the same thing is going to happen with these cryptocurrency balances. This is known as staking. The coolest thing here that got me interested in this is that the growth is shown in real time. So for example, in my Coinbase wallet, I can see my value go up as time goes on and it's by like the second. So it's the coolest thing to watch because that's just cryptocurrency that is just being generated out of thin air. Now, where exactly does this cryptocurrency come from? Well, similar to how Bitcoin mining generates new Bitcoin, the cryptocurrencies that are used for staking, the people that get the new cryptocurrency are the people that hold the cryptocurrency. So basically, if enough people are holding this cryptocurrency, the value is fairly stable and the number of coins in circulation increases and the new cryptocurrency that comes into circulation is given to the people who own that cryptocurrency. You can do extra research if you believe that form of consensus is sustainable and a good form of consensus, but I can admit it's one of the coolest things to see just watching your balance go up every single second. 
This is pretty much a guarantee to make gains with your cryptocurrency. Your cryptocurrency balance is going to increase over time and then you can sell that cryptocurrency for cash or Bitcoin. Now a word of warning when it comes to staking is that the reward you get is more of the cryptocurrency that you started with. So if that cryptocurrency goes down in value, you might have to wait it out for that price to go back up for you to get a profit. So for example, this cryptocurrency here, Tezos, I'm not even sure how to pronounce that, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. I bought $50 worth and my balance is only worth $45.24. That's because the value of the coin has gone down. I fully expect it to go back up and I can sell, but just so you guys know, it is dependent on whatever that coin is valued at. Now, another very cool way that you can make money with Bitcoin are Bitcoin forks. And when I figured this out, my mind was kind of blown because there's so many different ways to make money with Bitcoin that people just don't know. And once they figure them out, they're like, whoa, dude, like that was at least my experience. So basically, the way a fork works, if you, especially if you come from a software development background, you'll probably understand this, but basically it's a split in the software. You know, maybe there's a disagreement in the monetary policy or how something should work, and there becomes two cryptocurrencies. We have the original Bitcoin, and then we have some new cryptocurrency that just started. A lot of cryptocurrencies come into existence through this technique. A really popular example of this is Bitcoin Cash. This is actually a fork of the original Bitcoin blockchain. When there is a fork, the entire history is copied. So the people who own some of the cryptocurrency in the original blockchain will also have cryptocurrency in that new blockchain. That is just copied over. So if that new fork ends up being a cryptocurrency that has a decent value, you may very well have a large increase in your wealth. Isn't that just kind of cool? Like just your money's like doubled. It's really super weird if you think about it because that doesn't happen with fiat currencies. But I mean, if you have a thousand of a particular cryptocurrency and then that cryptocurrency is forked and now you have that same history on that new cryptocurrency, well, you own that history, you own that currency. So you also own it on that new fork. So how do you actually get that new money that you own? Well, I actually haven't done this myself personally. However, you can request that money. Just look up how to do that. But there is a couple of warnings that I got for you guys. If you need to do this, take the money that you have in your wallet and transfer it to a new wallet because you might have to show proof of ownership of that, that original currency. And to do that, you might need to share your private key. If you share your private key of a wallet that has money in it, you might as well say bye-bye. So transfer your money out of there and then you might be able to get that new cryptocurrency. Another thing that is crazy, I didn't even realize how many branches of Bitcoin there are and probably branches of a bunch of other cryptocurrencies as well. It's crazy how many new cryptocurrencies are being created. You might be surprised how many blockchains you're really on where you actually own some cryptocurrency on a different chain and you just don't even realize it. Another thing you can do to generate actual growth in your portfolio when it comes to cryptocurrency and Bitcoin is lending out your cryptocurrency. Obviously there are risks here because you might not get that back. However, if you go with a reputable company, you should be able to lend out your Bitcoin or your cryptocurrencies and get more of those cryptocurrencies in exchange down the road. Similar to how banks lend out money and they get an interest rate in return. So those are all of the ways I can think of how to make money with Bitcoin. I'm sure there are a ton of other different things you can do out there. And I think as new apps and new cryptocurrencies arise, the opportunities are just going to increase, especially with microtransactions, sharing data, and all kinds of different things. So just be on the lookout for ways to make money with Bitcoin, and I think you'll be amazed of the opportunity. Thank you guys, if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to check out my other videos. I got stuff on how to buy Bitcoin, basics of trading Bitcoin, and all kinds of other stuff on other cryptocurrencies as well. If you wanna hear more, you wanna learn along with me, then hit that subscribe button and smack that like button. All right, thank you guys, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.